Good morning. Okay, so I'm starting this new thing called vlogging. Have you guys ever heard of it? <laughs> now this is new to my channel. I figured since I have more time, more uploads, that I want to practice vlogging. So this vlog is like a practice run because it's a whole different style of video that I'm used to. So we'll see how this one turns out. It is Monday morning. It's about 7.55 and I have woken up to go for a run. I'm putting on my sunscreen. I'm using the Purito Centella Green Level Safe Sun. Now I believe this was actually recalled because it didn't actually have SPF 50 in it but there's still SPF in it and I guess I love the consistency of it it feels like a moisturizer it doesn't leave any cast so I'm gonna use it <laughs> till it's empty it still protects my face but I'm up right now to go for a run before I start working for today I'm not as much of an overachiever as it sounds this is a new thing that I'm starting now that I'm working from home kind of when I set the tone for the day so I'm trying out I started this last week like two to three times a week waking up in the morning and getting some cardio done before I get my day started. So I'm gonna go for a jog for like two miles, two and a half-ish miles, and then I'm gonna shower, eat breakfast, and get my work day started. <sighs> Let's go. Ah! It is now time to sit down, get some work done. So I'm going through emails this morning and then I have a video that I need to do an edit on for a sponsorship and I'm hoping we can get that video up today. This week is going to be a pretty busy week of content making because I am going on vacation next week. So I want to pre-film a few videos so that nothing doesn't go up. Does that make sense? But you know, I want to have videos to post. So I'm going to be working double duty as far as content making. I'm kind of stressing myself out about it and I need to chill because now that this is like my newly full-time job, I'm trying to work too hard and I just need to chill. Part of the reason why I went full-time is so I didn't overwork myself, but I'm learning I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to not do that. I do put them up here. They are so pretty and they are so refreshing. I've tried it before, so I'm having a fun makeup brand. Of course, I'm very familiar. So let's move on into foundation, to drugstore for foundation. <laughs> Guys, do you see that layer of fur? There are baby bunnies below there, but mom did such a great job of covering it. Now we can't see. Yesterday you could see the fur and the little bunnies breathing. Oh, oh, it's moving. Did you see that? It's moving. There are baby bunnies on there. I'll have to keep you updated this week. Hopefully I'll be able to get a better shot than like this, but this mom is a pro. My dad is pissed because it's in his tomato garden, his raised beds. <laughs> but this happened last year. We had baby bunnies last year in his garden, in his raised bed. He tried to barricade it so that no more babies could be in his <laughs> plants and showed up again at the same spot. So I think it's the same mom. It is time to get my day started in my super messy office. This happens so quick. I clean it often and it just explodes. <laughs> so I still have like, this stuff from a previous video that I need to put away. I need to keep this out because I need to do the description box for this video. I have my brushes everywhere, my makeup that I wore this weekend. So I'm going to clean this up first and then I'm filming two very big videos today. My 2021 favorite so far video and then the palette version of that. So I'm going to spend some time while my hair dries really sitting on what products have been my favorite this year but first let's clean also ignore my outfit i'm in my pjs <laughs> i wear my pjs until i film because when i film that kind of decides what i do with my outfit so we'll get we'll get dressed soon here we go It's not perfect. I just realized I needed to write this down first because I don't have my description box ready yet, but it's better. That's what matters. So I cleaned my room just to make it a mess again. It's time to start filming. 
I've pulled all the products that I'm using up for my mid-year favorites and I almost had a heart attack because I thought I lost this palette but then I found it. I made Jose search my room with me and it was in my eyeshadow palette drawer. <laughs> yeah, this was tough. I hate these big favorites that are big roundups because I just, I feel like I'm picking through my children. But I'm going to film this and we'll get the setup ready. It is hot in my room, but look at this cute outfit. This is, this top is from Nordstrom. It's super cute, but it's also super hot. I feel like I'm going to get pit stains, but it's adorable. Okay, Ugh, time to start filming. I should be done in a couple hours. My goodness, it is already 1.30. I just finished filming my 2021 favorites. I thought I would be done or close to being done with my eyeshadow palette favorites, but I'm not, I haven't even started, but my stomach started growling in the middle of the video. So I'm gonna eat lunch and then I'll do the favorite parts for my eyeshadow. These cumulative favorites always take me forever because I just like could go on for years about how much I love these products. <laughs> okay, it's lunch time. See, the day goes by so fast, I feel like. When I was teaching, I felt like I got so much done and so many, like, you know, I would teach six classes a day. Whereas with the YouTube stuff, it's just so much more tedious. Like, you get less stuff done because everything takes so much longer. It's not harder work at all. It's like not hard. It's just everything takes so long. So I feel like unaccomplished. Whereas when I was teaching, I, I feel like I got so much done. Anyways, I need to eat. Yummy. You about to mix this up. I had to show you guys. If you live near a fresh market, it's called the Fresh Market, you have to try the Cindy's Kitchen White Cheddar Vinaigrette. It's so bomb. It tastes better than ranch in my opinion and not bad. This is like much better for you than ranch dressing is going to be. So honestly, all of the Cindy's Kitchen dressings are super bomb, but this is my favorite for salads. Ugh, it's so good. Are they watching a soccer game? <laughs> this is the Euro Cup, not a soccer game. Euro Cup, whatever. This is our office. This is where he pretends to edit my videos, but yeah, yeah. watches YouTube videos. Quick, <laughs> Good try for you, <clears throat> My YouTube video got approved. I just need to change a couple of things on the description box, but we're going live in 50 minutes and I need to upload the stories for that. I'm gonna rest for a little bit, let my lunch sit, and then I gotta film my second video today. Normally, I wouldn't like spend so many hours filming in a day, but since I'm prepping for going on vacation next week, I'm gonna be filming a lot more this week than I normally would. It's kind of exhausting. Ooh, I got a package. I think it's my Shein order. So I don't buy clothes too often for myself. I will every now and then, but all my money goes to makeup. All of my fun money goes to makeup. But I've been wanting to try some summer dresses, and like new styles and stuff. I didn't want to spend a ton of money. So I went to Shein. Shein, I think, is the best place to try new styles that aren't too expensive. All right, should we do a try on? Let's let's do a try on. <laughs> okay, so here is the first top. It's really, really cute. It's very simple, nothing crazy, not a crazy new style. I think I just thought it was cute, and it is with some jeans, it's very lightweight. I got this in a size small. I am 4'10 for reference, I'm very, very short. Ignore my bestie background, wow. You're gonna ignore the messy background, by the way. Oh, no. I have no excuses, but super cute. Okay, let's try on the next one. Okay, so this one's a little bit showy. I have no intentions of wearing it with jeans, so low rise. Like, I envision for this, a nice high-waisted skirt, you know, but it's super cute. See, you have a tie, but again, <laughs> cover the belly. I would cover the belly, but oh wow, and this is going to look so cute in videos. 
I like that. Okay, this is the one, one of the ones that I was unsure about style-wise, but it is so cute. Reminder, I'm only 4'10", so it would be more of a midi on somebody else, but I love that midi dresses are in style right now because for somebody short like me, it's like a regular length, but I think going back, I probably wouldn't order this color. But it's super cute for like a dinner look. I got it in a size small. I like that it's stretchy around the waist so you're not going to get muffin top here. Ooh, I like this. I'm going to bring this with me to vacation. Okay, so far, we're on a win cycle. Okay, so this next one isn't my favorite. I like the color and I love the style. It normally is pretty flattering. I have to say this is probably the least flattering wrap dress I've had on my body. It's still not bad, but it's like oddly tight around my booty area and the fabric's so thin so you can see every every bump and crevice, which I'm not loving. So, hmm, this one definitely feels a little bit cheap. I'm not, I'm not as big of a fan of it. Okay, so here's the next one. It's really cute, but I would definitely want to wear this with a little bit of shapewear. I don't know, it's a little bit tight around that area, so I'd want to smooth it out a bit. But other than that, like, it's really cute. It's quite flattering. If you don't think about your belly region. Um, but this is okay. I'm not super in love with it, but, I mean, it looks like what I ordered. I was trying something new. I don't know. I don't know about this one. Okay, so this one you will see is one of the styles that I was experimenting with. <gasps> Jose is going to hate this. This is like one of those prairie style dresses. And honestly, it's not my style, but it's cute. This is the one that I was experimenting with. Like, I love these style of dresses. I do wish the sleeves were a little less voluminous i think that's the part where i'm like eh but i love the length of this obviously it needs steamed <laughs> if only the sleeves weren't so poofy i feel like i would like this a lot more this one's gonna take a little bit of getting used to but it's a vibe this one's definitely a vibe i feel like a princess I feel like i need to go on a picnic okay i have another one of these like prairie dresses to even step it up it's this gingham pattern let me try it on i don't know this one i like a lot more than the white one because the sleeves are less poofy it is like a bit see-through like you can see my black bra so i'd have to undergarment accordingly but it's super cute let me show you on my mirror i actually really like this way more than i thought i would i like this this is kind of cute Jose's also going to hate this one, but I like it. Okay, so this last one is a no. Um, if you're going to get this, number one, size up. God, so, I'm struggling to breathe. And number two, if you're tall, like this is a shirt. This is not a dress. Because I am so small, you guys. I'm 4'10", and this is so itty bitty tiny on me. It's really tight. And it's a little see-through like the idea of it really cute the execution i feel like a sausage okay so it's almost three i have a video going live and then i have to well i want to answer comments and then i need to post the corresponding instagram story since it's a sponsored video but in the meantime i'm gonna start selecting my favorite eyeshadow palettes of 2021 so far i have two and i'm debating should i do unlimited or should i do my top 10. the video should be up i know that you see this vlog so i so far have the ColourPop limoncello and natasha denona mini love i'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek you guys always ask me about my luxury eyeshadow palette drawer which i think is gonna break soon because <laughs> so heavy in this little ikea desk and it's messy when i clean it out i will do a full tour for you guys but it's in here look at all this heaven right 
I need to think about what eyeshadow palettes I tried this year and which ones were the best. So I'm going to be doing that for the next five minutes. So I sat through, I picked my top palettes, and you guys, I'm shocked. This is completely different than what I thought it was going to end up being. Now that I'm going back, I have a running list of all the palettes that I tried this year. This year was not the year so far for eyeshadow palettes. 2020 was so much better. All right, let's get this filming done. The sun is gonna start coming out of this window too strong as it shifts, so I have to, I gotta film this fast. <sighs> filming is done for today. I normally don't think I would like to do two videos a day, but this week is a special week. I think I'm gonna start editing one of my videos it's gonna take forever to edit so i'm gonna start tonight and then i think i'm coming towards the end of today's work day i do want to film um not film i need to make some instagram swipe ups for my ana luisa sponsorship what's the premise of this vlog is it fitness is it food is it behind the scenes i don't know is it fashion I need to find my vlogging identity so whatever your favorite parts of today's vlog is let me know what do you want to see in vlogs because i'm just giving you a little bit of everything it is time for workout number two jose and i are just gonna do a light workout i'm gonna do more strength i'm going to warm up on my bike for like 10 minutes and then i'm gonna do a very light strength workout probably mostly body weight and dumbbells because I haven't moved much since this morning so I do want to get some extra movement in since I'm no longer teaching I'm not on my feet anymore so it's very important to me to like move in the morning and then move in the evenings if I can <laughs> late night workout is done don't comment on my form i know it's not the best anyways i'm gonna shower hang out with jose and i will see you guys tomorrow good morning so it's tuesday today i passed on a workout this morning i'm feeling like a good afternoon workout so i'm gonna spend this morning editing my 2021 favorites and oh my goodness so i edited a little bit last night well i edited it a lot i actually got the whole rough edit done 40 minutes of me talking <laughs> how do y'all watch me so i'm gonna do the final edit it's gonna take a while to do the description box and to upload it so that's my morning project i'm gonna live the comfy life i'm just gonna sit on the couch in my pjs get through this so jose hopped in bed at 3 a.m last night look at what he was working on he does not like my intro i like it but anyways how cute is this he pulled photos from my old videos all the way up to now to make this intro <laughs> so cute okay so, first of all, it is hot for like the third day in a row in Maryland, like grossly hot, but Nasty. we're gonna do a bunny check, but something mysterious happened. <sighs> they weren't there yesterday. Like we saw them and then an hour later they were gone. So we're gonna see if the bunnies are still there. Look at my zip. Mom brought them back, I guess. I guess so. Get closer in. <gasps> They're kind of big, aren't they? They're big. They're not newborns. Oh my goodness. Invasion of the vegetable garden. <laughs> All right, it's time to die. Who is going to kill me? I do want to do 30 minutes. Let's do Emma Lovewell. 30 minutes intervals and arms. Oh my god. The interval part is horrible, but winner, winner. 
chicken dinner. Is this going? Is this going? Thank you. Here you go. Almost at 60. Okay, so I am all showered. Let me show you my lunch. I'm having a light lunch, just some veggies and fruits because it is Tuesday, which means it is sushi date night for Jose and I. We go get sushi every Tuesday, so I try and eat pretty light. I have a virtual event with Sigma in a couple minutes. So Sigma sent over all of these goodies and they have these Zoom events where it's kind of like a PR event where they promote their new products. So in my package, I got the highlight palette, Cordrosa blush palette, which I have been wanting this so bad. So I'm so excited about this. We have a lip oil, instant shade remover, looks interesting. I already have this, so this is going in a giveaway. And I'm so excited about this. You guys know I don't love Sigma's eyeshadow formula, but I love their color story. So I didn't want to spend my own money on this, but I'm really excited about this. So I'm going to eat my lunch and then do the Zoom call. We have some really beautiful bright shades in here. I love this gold shade. Um, I can swatch a few for you as well. So, so Jose is getting a haircut right now. I just came for the ride, but I'm not leaving. I'm sitting in the car, but I thought it'd be nice to get some fresh air though. I have to say it is so hot in Maryland. I hate it. These last three days have been horrible. And I know you guys are gonna say, just wait till Florida, because I've already complained on my stories. You guys are like, just wait till Florida with the humidity, the heat. -he. That honestly is something that's on my mind constantly, <laughs> is how hot I am. And then I just think about how miserable I'm going to be in Florida. But we are going to Florida next week, so I will be able <laughs> to complain some more. I did not choose Florida. I'm really not a big fan of the heat, but I work from home. So it's whatever, it'll be fine. I'll be fine. My hair won't be fine, but I'll be fine. So I'm pretty much done with all of my computer stuff I need to do today. I've had a really relaxed day, which has been awesome. But I need to film at least one video today because there's a portion of it that's sponsored, so there's a deadline. So I wanna film that since it's due tomorrow. And depending on my energy level, I might film a second video. But I have not had my coffee yet. It's already almost 2.30. So I'm gonna go home, have my coffee, film my video, and then it should be sushi time. Like I look forward to Tuesdays every week because I love sushi so much. <laughs> I got a PR package from ColourPop, so I wanna open that up and see what it is. Um, and then we'll start prepping for whatever video I decide to do. That took forever. Well, hello. <laughs> That took forever. Yeah. He was really it's slow. The fastest, but I mean. You like I, it? I like it. It's gonna be better in a week, but yes. Cute. Do, do you like it? Do yeah, you look so it? naked. Mm -hmm. So cute, little boy. Okay, so here was what was in the ColourPop PR package. This is one of their newest collections oh, for the summer. So we have like a blue palette some blue super shocks which look really pretty and then some blue eyeliners and then we have more of like a pinky purple one on the wing right here and we have some purple liners so thank you so much color pop these look super duper cute <laughs> it is my favorite day of the week my favorite time of the day it is sushi time as you can see my makeup is done i am of Sephora collection. It looks a bit heavy for my preference as far as the skin, but there were some hits, but there were also some misses. But I get asked all the time, because I always post on Instagram, our sushis. You guys always ask what we get and where we get it. We go to our local H Mart to get our sushi. They aren't, you know, the most high quality sushi or the best sushi we've ever had, but they're the best price for the taste. Like, Value, so we always go and get a ton. That's why I don't eat too much on our sushi date days. And I will show you the rolls once we get them. But H Mart has our favorite sushi. 
I don't think that that sushi place will be at every H Mart though, but that's where we go. It's like a really good deal. All right, I'll meet you there. Look who got the goods. Mm. Okay, so I told you they were really affordable. Like all of this sushi for $30. Am I crazy or is that really good? So we get a monster roll, which I think is one of their specialty rolls. So I don't think you can get it anywhere but it's our favorite. It has a little bit of everything. Cream cheese, avocado, eel, tempura, so good. We get eel and avocado, and then we get two salmon and avocados. Bomb. And the best part is... <laughs> we bring our own sauces because they don't have good enough sauces, so we are prepared for Yes, sushi. you have to pay extra for a tiny bit of that one. It's not enough. It is 9.30. I've just been watching videos. I'm waiting for Jose to finish gaming to hang out with him. I'm also like doing a wear test, which is why I still have my makeup on. 9.30 is late for me. By the way, the Sephora collection makeup, it's wearing really well. I thought it looked a bit heavy when I first started wearing it. I'm about five hours into wearing it and it wear... I'm out of breath from walking up the steps. Hold on. And now that I've worn it, it wore down a little bit so it looks more natural. So I'm really liking how my makeup looks, besides like a couple pieces. Like I did not like the eyeliner or the eyelashes, but everything else looks really good. I think, I know it's late, but the video that I filmed today, it's due tomorrow to the sponsor. So I think I'm going to edit it a little bit. It's the Sephora collection video, not sponsored by Sephora, though I wish it was. But there's a sponsor in the video. But I've been wanting to film this video for a long time. I literally bought these items during the last Sephora sale. Because Sephora collection was on a really good discount. And I'd always wanted to do this video. And it took me months. But I'm so happy I could finally test out the product. So I'm going to edit a little bit. Take my makeup off. And then go to bed. Hang out with Jose. So I'm going to end this day here and i will see you tomorrow expect from now on the day portions to probably get a little bit quicker and quicker like less information because my days are repetitive very very repetitive so i'm not going to show you the same stuff every single day but just know i'm doing the same stuff every single day all right good night Whew. good morning What's the first thing that I do when I wake up? Check on the bunnies. <gasps> They're huge. They've already grown so much since yesterday. Bunnies grow really fast. Cause we had some last year and they grew up in like three days. So cute. Well, hello there. Good morning. Good morning, cutie boy. Does anybody else understand how to undo these elf boxes. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, this is the first time I actually opened it correct. My elf order came in. As you can see, I ordered a bunch of stuff for a video. I plan on doing a half face of elf and then the other half of my face of my favorite high-end makeup just to see how they compare. So I'm really excited. I've been eagerly waiting for this package to come. I want to film this today and get this up on Friday. Today's Wednesday. So yeah, hopefully I can get this up on Friday. So I have been editing all morning. You can see Jose is also editing. We've been getting some editing out of the way. So this, I think, is what I'm going to film today. This is going to take some prep though because I haven't... Well, I can't remember what products I was comparing to what. So I need to set that up and get ready. So I'm going to submit the video that I was editing to the brand that I need to submit it to. And then we are going to do my hair, get dressed, and start filming this because this video requires a wear test. So I need to start as early as I can. So I'm going to do my hair and I'm going to show you how I refresh my curls with heat. So most of the time to refresh my curls, I prefer to dampen my hair and then put in a light mousse. But today I feel like I don't have time to wait for my hair to dry. I don't feel like it. So we resort to heat. So this is what I do second, third day curls whenever, you know, I don't want to get my hair wet and I want to keep the curliness. 
So I use, I got this years ago. It is so cheap on Amazon. What is this? Yes, it's a Condier half inch curling wand. I'm gonna show you how I refresh my curls. Now it looks better with time, so when you curl it, at the end of the day, it tends to look a little bit better because it looks a little bit tight, by the way. I have my camera sitting on a Listerine bottle and I'm like squatting to get in frame. So I just let it heat up for a little bit and then I don't use the clamp. I never use the clamp. And then I just look for pieces that need a little bit of refreshing. Let me squat. And then I just twirl it on there. Let it sit for just a few seconds. Sorry, I know you can't see. And then release it and I pull it down because I don't have really tight curls in my hair. I have more so waves. So I'll just do it for, if I see a bunch of like frizzy hair, I will use this to tame those frizzinesses. I don't typically do my whole head. It's just the hairs that need a little bit of a refresh. And even if I literally do only five little curls, I find that those five curls that I redo just make my whole head look better. So I try to do as minimal pieces as possible just because I don't like too much heat on my hair. And yeah, so I'm going to fast forward through this. And I'll show you the outcome. But of course, because I'm on camera, these front pieces are the most important. But the bottom layer of my hair is like normally more straight. So I don't know, it's really annoying. So I do like to curl these straight pieces. And that's literally all I do. They'll loosen up as the day goes on. I think for most of you guys, I would recommend like separating the hair or maybe even brushing it out. But the natural texture of my hair is frizzy. It doesn't matter if it's humid outside or not. That's just the texture of my hair. So if I separate these curls, my hair is gonna be out to here. So I just leave them tight like this. But you can see it looks relatively natural <laughs> i mean it blends in with my natural hair i guess is a better way to put it because i mean my natural curls do not look this nice so that's how i refresh my curls this is the aftermath of filming that crazy elf and high-end favorites video this is one video that probably took some of the most prep i've ever had to do which in reality is not that hard but it took a lot. So take a look. Half of my face is elf. The other half is high end. Can you tell a difference? I can tell you in person. There's one side that looks a lot better and it's definitely the high end side. But the price of the elf was $89 for everything. The price of my high end side was like $540. That's crazy. Anyways, I have some PR packages that just came in that I'm going to open. And then I think I'm going to eat a light snack or maybe a light lunch, we'll see. Okay, so I have a question for you. One side of my face is $89. The other side of my face is $540 worth of makeup. Which side looks better? Jesus Christ, uh, you're facing the okay, windows. We'll face this, so which side do you think looks better? Uh, do you need it? You can get up close. I think the right side looks better. This side? Yes. Okay, that's the $540 side. Mm. You got it. Yeah. The skin looks a lot better on this side, I think. I mean, I don't know if a lot for my standards, probably right. for a makeup. For a $500 <laughs> difference, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I just need no to problem. We have a couple PR boxes that just came in, so I thought I would show you. So we'll start off with ColourPop. This is for their Cherry Crush collection. Cute! Look at these. Oh, did it turn? Look at these cute little hair ties or hair pins. And then some gel liners. Serum blushes. I haven't tried their serum blush formula. Oops. We have some lip stains. You know, <clears throat> I never thought I'd be a fan of the hand mirrors. But I actually use them now in my makeup kit, and my clients love whatever I bring. 
So we have a cute cherry mirror. I've not been doing a good job of keeping up with my ColourPop content. It's just they've released so much that I feel like you guys aren't interested. So I don't want to create videos that you guys aren't interested in. Uh, but here's what the palette looks like. And she's cute. I mean, it is true. We're getting a bit repetitive here, ColourPop. The collections, it's all about the packaging. And I love the packaging. So I'm a little bit more accepting of it than most people but it is a lot got my monthly ipsy bag my box is a little bit beat up Let's see we have some wonder beauty eye masks il maquillage mascara some motd brushes i always give these to my friends because i have so many brushes and i feel like my friends are always in need of makeup brushes <laughs> we have some shave cream which is awesome because i'm running low on mine and I use this one. This is Ipsy's brand, Refreshments. Here's the bag, looks like. Um, moisturizer. Ooh, what is this? No, oh, I think this is a wrap for the beach. I think. It looks like it, you see. Cute! I'm going on vacation next week. That works out great because I've been in need of a wrap. And then the last thing is like the regular, like $12 Ipsy subscription. We have a Nomad Cosmetic Shadow. This is falling. Um, a cake pencil. Looks like from KVD Beauty. An Artist Couture Lip Oil. Ooh. First Aid Beauty Primer. Briogeo Hair Mask. Look, that's really great. I hate buying hair masks, but I love using them. And then it looks like the last item in here is a hip dot shadow or blush. I'm not sure. Anyways, thank you so much, ColourPop, and thank you, Ipsy. Um, I'm Jose just told me he was hungry, so we're gonna go eat now. We are at my favorite bagel place. I've been waiting all week to come here. I got some editing done this morning. So far I have my chai. Jose has his frozen chai. I'll have to show you the sandwich. Mm-hmm. This is mine? No, this is mine. I don't know which one is mine. I don't know. Mm, I think this one's mine. This one's yours with yes. the spinach. Yours looks better than mine. Exactly. Mine is the creamy one. Look what just came in the mail. I've been waiting for this order from BH. You guys know I'm a BH stan. <laughs> and for loving high end, I love me some BH. So I got their new palette. This is called the Passion in Paris. It is beautiful, unique. It's a color story that so many drugstore brands won't touch. And I didn't like the other palette that came out in this collection, but I saw this was on sale for like $8. This is... Oops smitten in switzerland and it is so beautiful i slept on this one you guys but it has the most beautiful neutral tones okay this one highly recommend haven't used it yet but if it's in line with the rest of the bh quality <sighs> highly recommend i just played with that new ColourPop cherry collection Really cute! I like it more than I thought I would. I will say the eyeshadow is fading a little bit pretty quickly. I also just uploaded my e.l.f. video. I don't expect it to do fantastic, but I hope those of you who watched it enjoyed it because it was... Hey guys, what is that? Welcome to my... It was a lot of editing. It's a 47 minute video. It's like 4 o'clock. We went out for breakfast. I did get some work done today. I filmed a video, so I'm not going to be hard on myself. But I think that I'm going to just relax for the rest of the evening. Tomorrow, I'm not really working. We're going to go see my grandmother. Um, I'm going to try and film a video tomorrow because I do need to pre-film. But I really don't like filming more than one video a day. Just so that way I can stay energized in my videos. Because I feel like if I film more than one depending on the topic my energy is lower and i don't like that i want to be present i'm just doing a lot of talking that you guys don't care about anyways i'm just gonna hang out maybe play some sims we'll see if you hear that buzz in the background it's the fan because it's hot in here
we are getting ready to work out i have my pre-workout i only just started to get into pre-workout recently when i was working because i was very low energy and this kind of helped but i don't feel like working out today so hopefully this gives me the boost that i need i mean jose is supposed to be working out right now and look what he's doing hey. he's sitting at the desk next to me i just played sims for like an hour i didn't show you guys Good morning! I'm out to get lunch with my grandmother and Jose and my dad. I wanted to show you my makeup before I leave. So key pieces for today. You can see it's relatively natural. Bare Minerals Tinted Moisturizer. I'm using the e.l.f. The new Classics eyeshadow palette. I wanted to give that another try. I really like it. It's a great value. Wearing Daniel Sandler Serum Blush Pixie Highlight. Christian Audette lipstick. Yeah, this is my makeup. Pretty natural, very simple, but I have to show you my gym mirror. <laughs> Weird my gym mirror and dark because it's a dark day. I'm just wearing an Urban Outfitters top and then some thrifted jeans, some flip-flops, and my Louis bag. Today is going to be the last day of this weekly vlog and I'm going to go back and really assess what I like about the vlog, what I didn't like about the vlog, and then of course your comments. I want to hear about your favorite parts of the vlog so I can adjust how I do my vlogs and what you guys actually want to see. We're checking on the bunnies. I don't know if they'll be there. I didn't check yesterday because it was really rainy out all day. They fled the nest. That was fast. They aren't there anymore. We only got two days out of them. That's so sad. Last year we had bunnies and we had them for like at least a week. This has been a weird group though because the moms have been doing a really good job of hiding them. I swear she's been removing them from the nest and like carrying them around but bye bye bunnies. That's the bunny update. That's all we have. Guys, this is my grandma's house. Isn't it the cutest? She wants to repaint her walls to navy but it's just like the cutest place. Oof. You guys, it is the most beautiful day outside. It's been sweltering hot the last few days and I've decided just to take today off not worry about work really I was planning on working like half the day but you know I finished the uploads that I needed to do I went and saw my grandma she lives like an hour away so that I ate up most of the day and the weather is so nice and beautiful and I have a wedding tomorrow that I'm working so I just decided to enjoy my evening and I'm going to pick up on Sunday. And normally I wouldn't work on a Sunday, but since I'm leaving for an eight day vacation on Wednesday, I think I'll be okay squeezing in that Sunday so that way I can get ahead and get my videos ready. I think when this video is uploaded, I'm on vacation. So I'm enjoying my time in Florida. Yeah, I mean, videos this week might not have been every weekday because my goal for uploading as a full-time youtuber is to be there for you guys monday through friday because this is my full-time job now don't hold me to that because things happen sometimes videos take longer sponsorships get weird there are times when i just don't want to stress my out that was not english there are times where i probably just don't want to stress myself out but for the most part i want to upload on the weekdays so obviously this week's a little weird since i'm out of town but once we get back and I'm back on it, I'm really looking forward to really treating this as a full-time job. It's been a fun couple of weeks, but you know, when I think about it, I went straight from teaching my full-time job. I got a weekend off and I still had a wedding that weekend. So I got Sunday off and then I went right into my new full-time job as a content creator. So I haven't really had the summer vacation that educators deserve. So I'm gonna stop stressing about it enjoy my vacation not worrying about getting videos up every day but when i get back we are back on it right jose and i are going to go to dick's sporting goods and buy some badminton rackets because we've been into badminton we got some cheap ones from the dollar store and they broke <laughs> they're from the dollar store so we're gonna go purchase some nicer ones because it's a fun activity it's good for your body so we're gonna get some nicer ones and probably do that for the evening i'm gonna do some wedding evening prep that i'll show you guys on camera and that'll be it for today's or this week's vlog all right <laughs> We are 
are getting gas at Wawa. Well, Jose's getting my gas. We are also getting a snack, but I wanted to get gas tonight since I have a wedding in DC tomorrow in the morning. So I wanted to make sure I had enough gas to get there. Well, my wedding tomorrow is at the Willard, if you're familiar with DC. It's a very well-known hotel. It's one of the most beautiful hotels I've ever been in. So if you, side note, are ever traveling to DC and want a luxury experience or hotel in DC, the Willard's really nice. That's where my wedding is at tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Sorry. So we're gonna go in and get some snacks now because we didn't have dinner. I'm not very Yeah, I'm not very hungry, but when you're at Wawa, you know, you gotta get a good Wawa or sheets. All right, guys, it is like nine o'clock. I just ate my hoagie and mac and cheese. I did not need to eat that, but it felt so right. It tasted so good. I am sitting on the floor of my very messy beauty room. And I am packing up my kit for tomorrow, refreshing, like I need some more mascara wads, making sure I have enough lashes, all of that good stuff. And I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed my very first true vlog. As I said before, I'd love to hear the parts that you loved about the vlog. I really don't want to hear the parts that you didn't like. I get it. I know you won't like everything. <laughs> Don't hurt my feelings, but what parts do you want to see more of? And then I will run with that and do that. My next vlog is going to be my vacation vlog when Jose and I go to Florida. Kind of get the vibe there, see if we would like to live there, all of that. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.